No, I can't wait. As, as soon as it got um, like obviously announced and we got the draw, I celebrated, to be fair. I woke my little boy up because... Not only because it's going back to Chelsea, which is good for my family, because obviously I've played in every age group there, but um, it's a big tie and it's not in the Championship. And it's, it's one of those that you can go there and just go and thoroughly enjoy it. There's no pressure on us. They've got all the pressure and we can go and try and, try and put our style across and try and play and enjoy it. Is this the first time you're going to play against Chelsea? Yeah, it's the first time I've actually been back there since I left. I literally what? just left, didn't speak to anyone and just that was that, was that period of my career done. Obviously, I spoke to members of staff and players, but no one really of power. So, I've got two little boys, one's six months, but the first thing he said, Dad, could I wear my Chelsea kit? And I was like, no, but he's a Sheffield Wednesday fan. Oh, okay. he, loves, he loves the club. Like, he doesn't get out of the training kit or the kit. So. And when he told him... I mean, that he was going back to Stafford Bridge, yeah, he understood. Was he, what was it, probably about 8 o'clock at night, was it? Something? No, it was at 10, and I told him in the morning, and then my little girl's five as well, so she obviously... <laughs> knows about Chelsea because she's seen some pictures and my nephews live down south so they're big Chelsea fans and Sheffield Wednesday fans so literally my whole family are Chelsea so it's going to be a good occasion for them more than me but like it's just another game but it's just obviously playing somewhere I grew up. I'm not sentimental like that at all I think football's football and you just crack on it's your, it's your job but obviously being there from the age of seven is it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be good. Given everything you went through it would be really cathartic. I think it'll be like a closure and then it's done. No more injuries, no <laughs> touch wood. Uh, and then, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be a celebration. So, fingers crossed we can win or get a result. Will there be any, any people at that Sam that you remember over there? There are loads of people, all the, all the physios, <laughs> all the masseurs. <laughs> um, no, there's yeah, a few members of staff, all the kit men and everyone. There's a couple of players that used to play. So, uh, there's not much of the squad left, but yeah, be nice. I even said I'd done an interview for the Chelsea... Um, the website the other day and I said if I do score I will celebrate because I don't get enough but it's not obviously there's no, that's respectful for Chelsea and respectful for Sheffield Wednesday because how much that both both clubs mean to me. Sam will just a few more for me will, will will your background will Michael Hector of course being on loan here how much can that help the current team in, in preparing for Sunday? I don't know really because they could play anyone you don't know who they're going to play and I just think it's a cup match I think whoever we played Everyone's going to enjoy it here because it's a big game. It's, I'm no different to, like, to Barry Bannon going to enjoy it at Stamford Bridge. Everyone's the same. Like We're going to Stamford Bridge and we're going to have a, we're going to have a right go. And I, I suppose with, with 6,000 Wednesday fans going down there, <laughs> it'd be incredible for the season though, wouldn't it? You know, The season's sort of got to a point where equal distance up and down. Yeah. A, a win on Sunday could really give you a boost. And, it's not over, is it, in terms of like looking upwards? No, of course it's not over, and I think, obviously, we're not looking like that. We want to win as many games as possible to see where we can get to at the end of the season. Obviously, you take game by game, and obviously it's the old cliche, but um, we're only trying to look upwards. Obviously, we had the bad result against Hull, but if we, if we get the three points there, and we should have probably won against West Brom, and you look at it like that, um, the result's not the be-all and end-all on the weekend, obviously, because we're playing Chelsea. <laughs> but... Um, we want to go there and win and we want to keep winning games because it gives that, you that mentality to go and keep going.